Hello, it's Deborah from The Attic. Today I want to share with you a vintage ephemera subscription kit from Your Creative Studio. A few weeks ago, Amanda, who curates these kits, got in touch with me and asked me if I'd do an unboxing video for her. And I went and did a little bit of research. I had to look on the website. I had to look at what previous boxes had offered. I went and looked at some other um, unboxing and crafting videos using the, the box. And then I went back to Amanda and said, I'd love to. Um, do an unboxing for you and I'd love to have a look at the kits and I'd love to share it with my subscribers with all of you guys so this is what has arrived in the post and we're going to unwrap it and open it together so the first thing is that this is the November vintage ephemera box and it looks lovely so this is Christmas themed because of the time of year that it is I do know that this particular kit has now sold out. I've, I've come a bit late to the party, but I want to show you this kit so that it might whet your appetite for future kits. So let's have a little look at all of this. You have a nice welcome from Amanda, which is really pretty. Everything is wrapped in this lovely red, deep red, paper lovely tissue paper and these stickers i believe are unique to amanda there are two washi tapes in this kit there is a very very wide one and there is a narrow one so this has days of the weeks written on it and it also has little extra sayings so that's going to be great for journaling with and this is the wide one and this has got beautiful Christmassy colours in it. And it has lots of wreaths on it. Isn't that just beautiful? I hope you can see the matte finish on that. And it feels very strong as well. It feels quite robust. Now this is a washi tape cutter. So let's have a little play and see if we can make this work. So you open this out and you fold it over your washi tape so that it grabs the roll like that, grabs the whole roll like that and then you take it back as far as you want to roll out your tape and I can pull this and it will move with the tape and then to cut you lift up and it'll cut against these serrated edges here so it's not a completely clean cut maybe you can see if I put it against the, the red you can see that it's got um, these sorts of um, serrated edge cuts so that's how you would use that. The other thing that this is quite good for is if I decide that I want to, um, I'm going to unroll some washi, but actually I don't want that much washi, I can use this to re-roll the washi back onto the roll. That's a great little gadget. These are little wooden festive motifs. And there are, oh look at that, there are five of these. They are just gorgeous. They can be attached to gifts. You can use them to add to your, your tags. They're lovely. In this little bag, with its nice little seal, there is something else that you can use to add to a tag or attach to something with some twine. And it's this lovely little snowflake charm just beautiful. Anyone who's seen my junk journals will know I love charms, I cover them in charms. So this is absolutely ideal. And then I can use this bag again as well for something else. I want to show you these two stamps. There's another set of stamps in here which I can see poking out from underneath and I want to show you these two. And what I'll do is I'll open them all out. I don't want to destroy the box. I need a little help. I'll open them out and then I'll stamp them up. This is a tree that has Merry Christmas running through it. This is a Santa stamp and around the outside it says Santa approved, which is quite sweet. And this is a stamp set that I've just dug out from inside the box. And I think this is beautiful. I really love this vintage style. And there's a Santa and reindeer and snowflakes and a beautiful stag. And this is from a company called Squirrels and Frogs. There's also motifs for the holidays. I'll stamp these out so you can see how they look. I'll 
finish showing you the contents of the box first. Now, these are sticky notes. And I'm going to pull these out. Ah, OK, and they stop at that point. And then these are the sticky notes. So let's see. Ah, OK. So the sticky is all along the top edge. And these are nice craft coloured sticky notes. I love how they come out of a vintage typewriter. And um, I do love a vintage typewriter anyway. But that, as a way of storing and dispersing notes, is quite cute. This is a, um, a travel notebook and it has 30 sheets in it. Oh, look at that. I recently bought um, a stamp that's very similar to this old fashioned steam engine. That's fabulous. And I like the colours of that because so often with junk journals, um, you just naturally fall into the vintage sepias and these are a little bit different. That's, um, that's a nice departure. Love that. That's so pretty. I've got to keep that. So I'm just going to slide this off here for speed. Because these are vellum sheets and there are 30 pieces of these. So I'm going to show you those in a little bit more detail. Let me just quickly show you the papers because these are lovely. Really lovely vintage style papers in perfect Christmassy colours. This has got some text on here about Christmas Day and how important it is and some of the traditions associated with Christmas Day. These will make beautiful tags. My mind just automatically switches to tags. I'm a bit of a tag junkie. They are lovely, lovely papers and they're a nice thickness as well. And now I can show you against this red background a little bit better. This is like oh, an airmail letter. So these are the, the two designs. Oh, there's a third design with all festive things around the outside border. I want to make sure I've shown you all the different types. OK, so it looks like there are ten sheets of these three different designs. These are a, a sort of a parchment vellum. They're quite thin and I haven't seen anything else like these. These are beautiful. This is how all the stamps look when they're just stamped out with plain black ink. There's a lovely amount of detail in these stamps. I particularly like the stag. It looks really, really good. And the two individual stamps at the top there as well. This is a huge kit and I'm going to take some of the elements from the kit and I'm going to show you what I make with them. I would also urge you to check out the website. I'll provide the links below this video. Just look in the Read More section. I'm also going to provide you with links to two or three other YouTubers who have videos for your creative studio to give you a better flavour of what else is available in other months. So past kits, for example, have included Alice in Wonderland themes. So each kit is themed differently and each kit is specially curated by Amanda so that all of these elements come together. And it means that it saves you all the time. It takes me such a long time to pull together the elements that I might want to use in a project. In this, it's done for you. And I think it's, it's really um, it's a really full kit. Here then are two examples of how I've used the contents of the kit. Let me show you the card first. This is a way that you can use a wide washi tape. I've taken a piece of white card, I've stretched the tape across it, I've used some Distress Oxide ink just to take down the white, uh, so I've, I've applied that around the outside of this layer. Then I've put it onto a layer of slightly lemony yellowy card because that matches the lemons or <laughs> they might be lemons, they might be baubles in the bottom of the wreath of, uh, of this particular uh, part of the roll of the washi tape. Then I've used the red tissue paper as a background to pick up the red in the other areas of the wreath. And that's just a nice plain white card, nice and easy to do with easy to apply washi tape and then I've completed it by inking up using some nice brown ink and stamping right into the centre of the wreath. I think that looks nice and vintagey. Then 
I've made a tag and I've used one of the pieces of paper that was in the kit. Again I've used the lovely red tissue paper and I've uh, glued it across the centre of my tag in a sort of a sash. Then I've added one of the pieces of vellum over the top of that so you can still see the bright bird underneath and I've done some stamping using some grey ink over the top of that. I've used one of the stickers on a piece of the sticky notes from uh, the typewriter and I've just stuck it onto the top of that. I've also used some of the brighter part of the wider washi tape that's got lots of red in it over the top here and here and I've used one of the thinner washi tapes just to add across the top here and to help hold my sticky note in place. I've made a little um, hole protector and I've used the really beautiful white thread that came in the wrap it, wrapped around the vellum to add to my tag on the top and I've added some more stamping around the top using some of the snowflakes from the stamp set. So that gives you an idea of how you can pull a tag together oh, and I've added one of the little wooden snowflakes on the top and I think that makes a really pretty tag. So I hope that was of interest and I hope that you'll go and check out some of the links below the video and see what you think and until we meet again take care.